Good day my scholars, welcome to my school channel, my name is Alexandra. So right now in this channel we are tackling the jam pass question for the subject government year 2015. Please stay with us, don't go anywhere and we will be right back. to my school channel so right here in this channel we'll be tackling question 21 to 35 now beginning with question 21 decree 34 of 1966 was unacceptable to many nigerians because it was option a seen as an instrument of impoverishment option b perceived to abolish the federal system option c promulgated without consultation with the people option d considered as alien the answer to this question is it was perceived to abolish the federal system. The decree 34 of 1966 was promoted on the 24th of May 1966 by Major General Agu Ronsi, and it was also called the Unification Decree. Now, this decree will seize federal system and then promote the Republican um, system. So the answer to this question is option B, perceived to abolish the federal system. Option B, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 22. The Igbo political system was based on option A, age grades, option B, umunna, option C, family ties, option D, umuada. The answer to this question is option B, umunna. Now, umunna is composed of all the male child of um, each family, so they form the council of elders. Okay, but when we talk about age grades, age grades are young men that belong to the same age group or age grade, and they perform several administrative functions. Umada is composed of um, the first daughter of each family. Okay, there are women composed of the first daughter of each family. But for option B, there are male children that make up the council of elders. So this is where law starts from. This is the foundation in which the political system is built. So option B, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 23. One challenge associated with presidential system of government, option A, aim of government, option B, separation of power, option C, the Senate president, option D, fusion of power. The answer to this question is option B, separation of power. In the presidential system of government, um, separation of power is strictly adhered to and this can be a major challenge also in the system. Why? Because there could be a delay in the execution of some government um, programs. For example, maybe the legislation delaying the approval of a particular budget. So this it can be a delay for the executive. So the answer to this question is option B, separation of power. Question 24. The dominant idea behind the establishment of the Organization of African Unity is option A, that Africa must unite, option B, to show the world that African can also do what Latin American and Asian countries have done, option C, to provide a framework and opportunities for cooperation on common African problems, option D, to promote economic development of Africa. The answer to this question is option A, that Africa must unite. Uniting is the major reason for the creation of OAU, Organization of African Unity, and it was founded on the 25th of May, 1963, to promote African unity, to promote unity in Af all African states, to, to fight against the forces of colonialism and imperialism. That is the major aim and objective of um, OAU. So option A is the best answer to this question. Do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated jam CBT past questions. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website. There you can download My School mobile app for your Android phones and My School software for your computers and laptops. Please go ahead and download and start practicing. Now moving on to question 25. A typical form of delegated legislation is option A, an act, option B, a bill, option C, a decree, option D, a bylaw. The answer to this question is option D, a bylaw. But first and foremost, what is a delegated legislation? Now, this has to do with 
transferring powers and function, transferring powers and function from one arm to another arm of government. Now, we have types of delegated legislation, and one of it is by law. We also have order in council, and we also have provincial orders, we also have warrants. So all of these are types of delegated legislation. So therefore, option D is the answer to this question. I believe you are enjoying this content. If yes, do not forget to hit the like button. Click on the subscribe button and then tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 26. Nigeria's quest for a leadership role in Africa hangs principally on her option A, military might, option B, size and population, option C, generosity, option D, economic strength. The answer to this question is option B, size and population. Nigeria's quest for leadership role is based on certain criteria. We have economic capability, just as we have the economic strength, and we know that Nigeria is one of the largest oil producing country and is also partnering with Asian countries such as China. Also, its size and population is also something remarkable. Nigeria is size and population is given credit to because other African countries can come and take refuge in it. So when we talk about demographic in human and material resources, which also has to do with size and population, Nigerian stands out. So therefore, the best answer to this question is option B, size and population. Question 27. The term rule of law means option A, nobody is above the law. Option B, everybody is equal before the law. Option C, we are being governed governed by lawyers option d option a and b above now rule of law is the supremacy of law over everybody okay so option a and b supports this option a and b defines rule of law and so it is the answer to this question so we have option a and b contained in option d and so we'll be sticking to option d as the final answer to this question question 28 France introduced the policy of assimilation in our colonies primarily to option A, teach them the art of leadership, option B, give them a sound education, option C, change their way of life, option D, discourage them from ritual killings. The answer to this question is option C, change their way of life. The French policy of assimilation involves the imposition of French culture on African countries or the col their colonies. So the answer to this question is option C, to change their way of life. Since it's an impo imposition of one culture on another culture, it is to change their way of life, to change their culture. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 29. In the Oyo traditional political system, the Alafi of Oyo was elected or chosen by a group known as option A, Oyo Messi, option B, Balance, option C, Obas, option D, Oboni. The answer to this question is option A, Oyo Messi. Oyo Messi is a group of people who are called the Privil Council, okay? So if the king, the ruling king happens to die, the Oyo Messi is charged with the responsibility of installing a new king. So the answer to this question is option A, Oyo Messi. Are there questions you would like to ask? You can ask your questions by using the link provided in the description below. Please click on this link. It takes you to the MySchool website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 30. A good example of a country with a largely unwritten constitution is option A, the United States of America, option B, the Soviet Union, option C, Nigeria, option D, United Kingdom. The answer to this question is option D, United Kingdom. Do not forget that unwritten constitution means the constitution is not written or codified. Countries like Nigeria, USA operate under the written constitution, but the United Kingdom, they operate under the unwritten constitution. So option D is the correct answer to this question. Do you have better solutions, steps, or explanations to any of those questions? Feel free to use the comment section below. Indicate the question and the solutions you would like to share. Question 31. Before Nigeria became a republic, 
The highest body charged with the administration of justice was the option A, Supreme Court, option B, Court of Appeal, option C, Privy Court, option D, High Court. The answer to this question is option C, Privy Court. Privy Court was adopted or was in existence before 1963, being when Nigerians started operating the Republican um, Constitution. Okay, so before 1963, Nigeria adopted the Judicial Commission of Privy Council, which is also synonymous to what we have here, Privy Court. So when Nigeria became a Republican um, state, it adopted Supreme Court, 1963 to present, it adopted Supreme Court. But before Republic, it was Privy Court. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 32, the Independent National Electoral Commission has the power to prepare and maintain the register of option A, electoral candidates, option B, voters, option C, political parties, option D, constituencies. The answer to this question is option B. INEC is responsible or charged with the responsible of effecting credible elections by maintaining and preparing voters to vote. So option B is the answer to this question. Question 33. In which of the following systems is the power of the component unit more than that of the central government? Option A, monarchical. Option B, federal government. Option C, unitary. Option D, confederal. The answer to this question is confederal. In a confederal system, we have a union of states or countries. Okay, so countries come together to form a particular union. Now, each of the states or each component units have more power than the center or the central government, as opposed to other um, systems in which the federal government or the central government have more power than the units. But in a confederal, we have states or countries coming together to form a confederation, to form a union, and then these countries have more power than the union itself, okay, the central government itself. So option D is the answer to this question. Question 34. The two leaders that played the most prominent roles in the formation of the ECOWAS was option A, Gowan and Ayadema, option B, Kaunche and Senghor, option C, Keriku and Tobman, option D, Achempong and Jawara. The answer to this question is option A, Gowon and Eyadema. Gowon from Nigeria and Eyadema, the president of Togo then. Okay, so the answer to this question is option A, they both played a prominent role in the formation of ECOWAS in the year 1975. Option A, therefore, is the best answer to this question. Question 35. Under a presidential system of government, the legislature and executive are, option A, elected separately to an unfixed term, option B, appointed at the same time to an unfixed term, option C, appointed by the judiciary to a fixed term, option D, elected separately to a fixed term. The answer to this question is option D. The executive and legislative both have four-year tenure. They have a fixed term but are elected separately. Okay, so the answer to this question is option D, elected separately to a fixed term. We've come to the end of this wonderful segment and I believe you enjoyed every bit of it. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and then tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.